part of the perception that often people have if they look at anybody that has something physical, they make assumptions about them cognitively. So that's always a struggle for people that have any kind of an impairment. Maeve has a spinal muscular atrophy, um, which sort of attacks the muscles in her body. But uh, she did have her cognitive testing done just as part of her educational protocol, and she tests within like the 96th percentile. Um, so she's well above average cognitively. She still has some, you know, mobility in her right hand and her and her arm, and that's a blessing because, you know, in terms of schoolwork, she can still do some things, um, you know, with the use of technology. Kids like this are hard to place because it's not typical to send somebody with all those issues into a general ed classroom because the infrastructure is really not there. So Maeve was on home instruction, and Maeve, who's a typical little girl, was really desperate for the social aspect, having friends, that typical school environment. Okay, now we're going to go through the wall. You've got to be very quiet in the hallway. So come on, go forward. We had been looking at this particular technology, which is really nothing more than an iPad, on a mobile device that you can move around as if it was you in another location. Follow me. We saw Double Robotics had one that they took commonly used technology like an iPad and just attached it to this mobile wheel and uh, it made it much more affordable and we just thought, oh my God, we have to get our hands on that. Maeve will come to school every day and go into her typical classroom and if she can't be there, if she's not feeling well enough to attend school, she'll just log in through the Double Robotics iPad and FaceTime in the classroom, and she won't miss any instruction. She'll be there to see the kids, and she, it, it's like it won't interrupt her education at all. She really didn't miss a beat. She was, you know, basically there in the classroom when the kids walked in and then she was, you know, part of morning meeting and she was able to participate in, in all those activities. I think the first few hours, um, the impression that I got at least in here was, oh, cool, this is cool, and then all just, they would just forget. It's just like something else in the background. Can be used for you know, many different uh, situations. You know, kids who have to have surgeries, kids who yeah. are sick, kids who have um, compromised immune systems, um, um, kids who have cancer. You know, there's just so many different uh, possibilities. Can I read with you? Okay. There are so many people that can be doing very valuable jobs because of technology where they never could do it. They are interacting socially where they never could do it. And then the financial ability for people to be in that arena is huge. You know, that's why double robotics was so interesting. They took something that exists that is as common as a toothbrush, it's an iPad, and they turned it into something that can be so much more. You know, what your iPhone does, what an iTouch does now, just as accessibility features. You know, every computer system out of the box has voice to text. If you haven't tried OK Google, just put your hands in your pockets and you can research with your mouth. It's leveling the playing field. It is taking people with disabilities and melding everybody together. It also changes the way people look at somebody else. If I have some weird device or if I have an iPad, it just, people look at it differently. Life is tough for her, but we're definitely uh, less um, worried because she just has to live her life. She has to be like any other kid. So who knows what technology is going to do in six months. And, and even future, future career. I mean, it's really, you just, you just, you know, your head could explode. Like, what if, you know, she could just do so much rather than think she can't do it. She's talked about, you know, being a, a fashionista and she's talked about being um, something to do with arts, you know, dance, of course, you know. It, it's interesting how it's physical, you know, a lot of these things are physical, so we, you know, you can never discourage that, you know, you always think about, well, how do we get to that, you know. With parents or kids with disabilities, I think you're only limited by your own imagination.
CNBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.